What is up everyone? Back from vacation here with another Switch list for you. Thanks for your patience, my day job has kept me quite busy these days. That being said, today we are taking a look at almost all of the Switch games in existence that allow you to play 8 players on a single console at the same time. Yes, 4 player split screen is great, always has been, but what about 8 players, or 9, or even 12? It's pretty cool that this is even a feature, even if it's not used all that often. Regardless, all of these games can be played with an obscene amount of people on the same TV on one Switch console. So grab a Joy-Con and let's get started. First up is the one game that anyone watching this video probably already realizes can be played with 8 players, but just in case, I can't not include it on this list. While it can be tough at times for non-gamer friends to pick up and play these days, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate can handle a large crowd as good or better than almost anything on this list. Runbo was originally released on the Wii U but honestly feels more at home on the Switch. It is a quick side-scrolling platforming game that only gets better with more players, up to 8 in person or 9 online. The game's gimmick contains quick levels perfect for party play and make you feel like everyone has a decent chance to win. So Sausage Sports Club is a multiplayer party game featuring Fall Guy-esque physics and a variety of mini-games. This is one of the only games on this list I have not personally played, so I can't speak to its quality, but it looks entertaining enough for groups to have some fun with. Night Squad 2 is essentially if Bomberman was a twin stick based experience and by far one of the most polished games on this entire list. It's great at high player counts but also expects more of its players. I know I'm not ranking games on this list but it would probably make my top 5 if I did. BAFL, or Breaks Are For Losers, is a Micro Machines top-down racing game for up to 8 players. The game is chaotic, but can have a skill gap for those who are able to adapt to the controls a little bit better. Nonetheless, it's simple enough to bring enjoyment to a larger group for sure, with Grand Prix style events to fill up your evening. Alright, so you're probably sick of me hyping up this game, but Alpaca Ball All-Stars is simply one of the best party games on the Switch, and you can play with 8 players on 8 Joy-Cons if you wanted. It's so much fun at any player count, and it might be our most popular Switch game for 4 or more players, period. Twelve Orbits might provide the best value of any game on this list, being that it can be played with up to 12 players on the same console and only costs 2 bucks. It's a simple game that requires one button per player, so you don't even need a full controller to play. It won't hold your attention too long, but it's a fun distraction in a party setting for sure. Next up is a side-scrolling dogfight game for up to 8 players called Baron Fur is Gonna Fly. I have not played this game in a group setting, but it does seem perfect for a party atmosphere. The controls are decently quick and easy to pick up and play, so definitely check it out if you're interested. Five is pure space, space madness. madness. 
I could do a whole separate video on the Jackbox party games and there's many packs on the Switch, but there is a reason why they are some of the most popular party games out there. With fun, usually adult themed party games, many of which are playable for up to eight players using your cell phone as a controller. Zeeple Dome. Play with up to eight humans using your phones as controllers. Plus an audience of up to 10,000 can play along. What? Come on. It's the Jackbox Party Pack 5. Houston, we have a party. <laughs> Cluster Puck 99 is a goofy arcade air hockey game that pits two teams against one another in obstacle-filled courses. It definitely gets better at higher player counts, but may grow stale if you can't get a few people together for it. Still, it might warrant a look for your gaming group. Killer Queen Black was not originally released with 8-player local multiplayer, but this was added last year, making it one of the best games on this list as well. It's a little hard to describe, but it's a fast-paced action strategy game taking place on Smash-esque levels, featuring simple objectives that especially shine at 4 vs 4 player counts. Pico Park is a simple but enjoyable cooperative puzzle game for up to 8 players. Each level is designed to encourage teamwork and mixes up the formula enough to keep your attention for a night or two of couch gaming, even with its sim super simple presentation. Shipped is an 8-player party game featuring simple pick-up-and-play controls. It's another one of these dogfight-style games, this time taking place in water, and it looks like an old Flash PC game, but it's actually pretty fun and holds up quite well in a larger group. Up next is Party Golf, an old-school Flash-esque game where you compete with up to 8 players on randomly generated Worms-style levels. Their tagline, less golf, more party, is pretty accurate and the game is surprisingly packed with a ton of variations to keep your interest. Witness the explosive return of Bomberman in its best form. <laughs> Looks like it's down to us to save the universe. Super Bomberman R was actually a launch game on the Switch, but has received a ton of updates to make it a much better experience today. One of the highlights of any Bomberman experience is its local multiplayer, and that's where this game shines as well for up to eight players. Drink More Glurp is a charmingly weird physics-based multiplayer game. It's simple and I hesitated immensely to include it since it's only a hot seat style multiplayer game, meaning you pass the controller to the next person, which kind of feels like cheating, but it is off the wall enough that I thought I should bring it to your attention here. Well, check out. Speaking of amenities, step right up to this all new attraction, Screen Park. One of the oddest things about the release of Luigi's Mansion 3 was that it actually contained some 8-player minigames as well in its Screen Park mode. I have not played them much, but they are polished and worth playing through if you have the game already, but obviously don't pick up the game just for these minigames. Just remember, if you have a bunch of friends over, it might be worth taking a look. Just in time for Halloween. So don't get mad, but the last three games on this list are actually only playable at six players and not eight. But since they do accommodate more than the traditional four, I thought they were all worth noting and I can vouch for all of them in a group setting. 
If you don't already know, Towerfall is a fantastic archery-based fighting game that is already one of the best couch multiplayer games in the entire Switch library. I really just had to include Boomerang Fu on this list. I know it's not quite 8 players, but its short and quick play sessions make it super easy to pass the controller from one player to the next. It can hold the attention of a larger crowd and can be quite entertaining just watching. I highly recommend it for even 2 players or more, and it's one of the best hidden party games on the Switch just in general. Let's go! Come on then! Up last on this list is Worms WMD, which is the best and only traditional version of Worms on the Switch to my knowledge, and don't get it confused with the re recently released Worms Rumble. The franchise is in a pretty good place with this edition, and its turn-based tactical gameplay for up to 6 players is always a good time for those who seek a slightly slower and more challenging experience. That is all. I hope this list helps you track down some off-the-wall games for the Switch that are worth playing the next time you have a larger gaming group together. The Switch does feel like it was designed for local multiplayer gaming, so it's always cool to see some games embrace that to the absolute max. If any of you watch until the end and I missed a local 8-player game for the Switch that's actually worth your time, feel free to add it to the list in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.